Hey everybody, Mike Pfeiffer. Uh, this will be video 78, I believe. And I did get some work done this week, not as much as I wanted to, but uh, I did get some done. Of course, I always say I don't get as much done as I want to. But um, this next week, uh, next weekend, there will not be a video, so it's going to be like two weeks. Uh, the fair starts on Wednesday and goes through the following Sunday and I won't have time to um, even breathe so because um, I'll probably be out there for 10 hours a day all five days uh, most likely even longer sometimes if people don't show up but uh, that's that but anyway uh, let me show you what I've gotten done this week and you decide okay everybody as you can see, it's still wet, but I have colored all the plaster all the way down there. Now all I need to do is wait for that to dry, mount the buildings, and put in some foliage. And we'll be good to go, at least over to there. Okay, gang, I have all the buildings, with the exception of the... Um, chemical plant buildings, which I have to make another template for the uh, paved road that's going to go up and be there. But once I do that, and that is glued down, um, at least I have the uh, houses, the abandoned houses all in place. And I have the little building down here, the little storage building down here. And uh, colored in, no ground cover, but I like the way it's looking. I'm liking it a lot. If you look at it from, well, say eye level right here, I think the different heights of the buildings is really evident and is really going to look cool. Uh, let me turn around and show you what else. Okay, I have it all painted. And I have my first building in. And it's just sitting there. I have not glued it down. But I plan on it. That's the apartment complex. It's got lighting in it. And I'll be putting some... Um, uh, some foliage and stuff around it, of course. And a parking lot. When I figure out where everything goes. The next building that will go in is the oil industry that goes right along the track here. But I'll work on that in a little bit. But I think that looks pretty cool back there, if you picture that in the back of the town. I'm liking that also. Talk to you later. Okay, gang. I have modified the bridge. Added on to the bridge to bring it out into the town area. Um, as you can see, I have it sanded off and pieced together as well as I could get it pieced together. I have also cut a quarter of an inch of the height off of it, simply because I just thought it looked too high. So cutting the bottom off of it and adding that on has taken me uh, oh, a good six hours of work. But I'm ready to go out and prime it and repaint the whole thing. So, that's where I'm going to go now. And there you have a bird's eye view of it. Okay, gang, here's the new, well, not the new, but the refurbished bridge. I got it all rebuilt. And it fits the area perfectly. And we'll empty out right down into town. All I need to do is connect it back there in the back. Not exactly sure how I'm going to do that because the road narrows down there. So we'll have to see how I can do that. I'll probably wind up making a little pattern there and doing that with the uh, felt paper and narrowing the road down then I'll come off of that and go around behind those buildings over there in that general direction but 
there's the bridge. I just have to mount it down and I'm off and running. Okay, what we're going to work on this morning, Sunday morning, I'm going to try and make a curb around here or a sidewalk around here and then we're going to work on making a, par a, a parking lot. And I don't know exactly where to put it, maybe back over here. Um, and we need to make a parking lot in front of here and get this all sorted out around here. Um, I gotta. I'm, I think I'm gonna have to cut off the parking lot that's here, or I had. See, I had felt paper up there. If I can cut that off, then I can put a new piece of felt paper out there and just slope it out. Um, I'm also gonna make a um, template for there to get from the crossing to the bridge. And if that's successful, maybe later on today I'll work around and putting the road down that way. But we'll see how it goes. But I'm going to start out with the sidewalks and curbing over here around these two structures. Okay, gang, I got a sidewalk in over there at the apartment complex. And the parking lot will be curbed out, but I brought the wrong size styrene. Uh... I did put a road down to the oil facility, got the scale and the truck filling uh, platform here. I might trim it back just a tiny bit and it comes out and dump, will dump out to the road that comes down off the bridge. I haven't cut that yet because I want to make sure it's correct. So anyways, that's the road going back to the oil facility fill trucks. Um, if we swing around here, you can see that I got my piece made here and it is glued in and it is rolled down. So there'll be a transition from the uh, wide road coming over the tracks there to the skinny road going over the bridge. And of course that'll be painted in. But nevertheless, this is kind of what I have right now. It was like, as I fall back off the chair. So this is kind of what we have right now. Okay, that was it for uh, video 78. And I hope you enjoyed it. And it's just a little bit cobbled together. Um, I know I say this every time, but I've had a lot of other stuff going on. Um, we have some people that are going to well, the fair is going to start, first of all, so we've been spending a lot of time out at the fair getting it ready to go, chaining up our areas where people aren't allowed to go, and uh, cleaning the building. Uh, the, clean, the building out there has not had a good cleaning in about five or six years, so we did a good cleaning, and thanks to the help of uh, a member of ours, Ted, and his wife, um, she's just a cleanaholic, and she just went in there and just zoomed around that place and really cleaned, and Ted mopped up the floor. Anyway, he mopped up the floors and everything. Um, I will try to take some video during the fair and post it on the, the uh, Southern New Mexico Enscalers website. Um, and if you can't find you'll be able to find it. I, we haven't posted anything there for quite some time, but it's Southern New Mexico Enscalers. And if you put that into YouTube, you can probably find it. But anyway, as usual, thanks for watching.